Hi all. Uh, I've got a few videos that I talk about toe fungus and I go over this carousel. It's a toe fungus treatment. You buy it at the store. This is probably the most expensive one. It's, uh, it's about $19 and change for one tube. For one tube. So, uh, I've tried all the other brands and they never really worked for me. So, I've been dealing with this for years. We're probably talking uh, at least 18 years. You know, it just never seems to go away and I've tried all kinds of treatments. But, uh, last year I started buying this off Amazon. I think it was either Amazon or eBay, where I bought a three pack for like $39 or something like that. I <laughs> okay, so I went through the first two tubes and uh, it kind of cleared it up pretty good. And then uh, I quit doing it because uh, after those two tubes, I think I had done like one or two tubes before that. So it was a long time I was using this stuff and I, I started worrying about uh, my liver and my kidneys and stuff like that. So I, I just set this tube aside. But uh, I just started using this again. And what I found online, I found a video online where the fella said to use a toothbrush. And he's actually a doctor. And he said... If you do all your your feet soaks, use the hair dryer to dry out your toes before you put your socks on, and use the toothbrush to get up in the cracks and crevices. He said that should clear up the fungus. And I've only been doing it about two weeks now, maybe three, and it's cleared it up quite a bit. So that's why I thought I'd do a video on it. Now I've been using this brush, this is a denture brush. When you get old and you get dentures, they give you one of these at the dentist. You can buy them at Walmart too. But I thought this would be good because this would get up into the cracks and crevices. Plus, it's nice and uh, got long bristles and they're really hard too. So, if you use an old toothbrush, they're usually worn out and soft and you're not going to get much scrubbing done. So I've scrubbed them pretty good. I probably rubbed off some skin too. I probably rubbed them too hard. So, uh, but along with this, I use Dial antibacterial soap. I just happened to have it handy. Uh, so I started using it on my feet. Uh, you can see it's yellow, so it, it looks like antibacterial soap. I put like a dirty sock up on the edge, the edge of the tub, and then while I'm in the shower, I suds up the brush, and then I just scrub down my toes. You know, my problem toes are the big toes and the little ones, so I I scrub all of them, and then I've been going between my toes too because I've had athletes' feet here and there. I think mainly from going to the gym and using the gym showers. So this toes cleared up pretty good. That's always been the problem toe. And this big toe looks a lot better from just a couple of weeks ago. It's still a little dark. It looks like the thickness and all the nastiness has gone away. So what that, what that doctor says in the video, he says scrub them down with the brush. You know, use all your other treatments, whatever you're doing. He goes through a bunch of other things that people soak their feet in but uh, all I'm doing is I scrub them with antibacterial soap then I put this on it and this goes on like water you know if you've never used it it just kind of drips out of here like water it goes on really easy so that's all there is to it and then I use the hair dryer you know? and it only takes like a minute or so to dry out your toes you know? and 
if you hold your feet together, it takes half the time. You know, if you stand there like this, you got to do this foot, and then you have to do this foot. But if you keep your feet together, then uh, you want to get in between your toes. If you want to get in between your toes and dry them, take the edge of the towel or the edge of the wash rag and pull it through there sideways. So, you know, what she's talking about is drying between your toes so you don't d develop fungus, you know. Yeah, like or you could take the edge of the towel or feet, something. You know? Towel or wash rag and yeah. dry it in there. So, uh, something else that doctor says is don't put your shoes and socks on all the time. He said if you can walk around the house barefoot, you know, he, he says best that your toes get to the air. But I haven't been doing that, you know, I go ahead and, and I put my shoes and socks on. Or you walk around in your socks. Yeah. At well, you're getting the air. What he says is leave them off so your toes get the air constantly as much as possible. So, so he... But, uh, okay, so since we're here, I thought I'd bring up this. I bumped into this. This is just a brush to get off the dead, dead skin, you know. Most people know about these stones. Like, like that's a stone that you can buy. I wore that one out yeah. a lot. <laughs> what do these cost? Like a buck or two? There, I haven't been able to find one that yeah. rough. Okay, so it looks basically like a, just a piece of rough lava or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I and think then, that's what it's called, lava stone. Oh, and then this is kind of hard to use because you got to bend over. But it works really good. Only do a little bit at a time because you, you don't want to tear up your skin. Oh, well, I haven't been able to get a callus off yeah. my foot, but even with that. But these are nice because you can reach it without having to bend over. So I never knew they made stuff like this. So only do a little bit at a time, especially if you got big calluses from wearing work shoes. You know? And if you do a little bit every time you get out of the shower, you'll wear them down. You know? Like my problem areas are here, and then sometimes back in here. And here, you know. So that's only like, I, I think it was two and a half bucks or something like that. At Walmart, over by the uh, hand lotions and stuff like that. Maybe, it might be by foot care. I didn't think it was rough enough to take callus off. <laughs> well, I've got another stone up there, a white one. It's a white pumice stone. I, it's not as it's not as rough as that dark okay. gray one. I never I never even noticed this one. So she's she's got another one that she uses here. But there again, it's hard to bend over to do that stuff, you know. So just be real careful in the tub. If you, yeah, if you can oh. get your foot up, you, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> like, when I do this in the tub, <clears throat> leave the water running so you can rinse off your feet and rinse off your hands so you don't slip in the tub. You have to be real careful. Yeah, always keep the fall. water in the tub. Yeah. Or, you know, I suppose you could even scrub them down before you get in the tub. Just sit on the toilet and uh, wet the brush and your soap and scrub them down before you get in the shower. And then you don't have to worry about falling in the tub. That would probably be a better idea now that I think of it. Then you could leave this soap on your toes for a few minutes before you get in the shower. Or you can soak your feet in a pan and then you can really scrape off all the dead skin. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, scrub them down with the brush and then dry them. It sounds like a pain. I know when I first saw the video, I said, oh man, that's going to take forever. But once you get the hang of it, you get the routine down, it only takes an extra minute. So it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, see ya. Bye.